Grind Time Show, Channel 23, GPAT TV, Hydro hosted Rex. by your boy Solid Dollar. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Grind Time Show. I just want y'all to know this is the Grind Time Show. Business is models, artists, and scenes. All you gotta do is turn to Channel 23. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Grind Time Show. I just want y'all to know this is the Grind Time Show. Business is models, artists, and scenes. All you gotta do is turn to Channel 23. The Grind Time Show. The Grind Time Show. We sitting here, Grid Iron Studio, on another episode of the Grind Time Show. Got my man Scales in the building. What up, Scales? Good, baby. Gridlock steady working on another project. What's DJ good? Gridlock. Good, Pat, Solid Dollar, everybody. Yo, um, I hear you got some dope joints banging in the back, man. You know what I mean? Um, Basically, a lot of cats been doing production. I know you started off, like, doing the DJ thing. Right. Um... A lot of cats on the street talking about your production right now. Absolutely. Basically, uh, what's really, really good with Gridiron, what kind of moves you're making right now, and how did you go from the DJ thing like into like becoming like a great producer or just a really, really talented producer right now? True indeed. Uh, as far as the production aspect, how I moved from DJing to production, uh, when I was spinning parties or whatever, I always wanted to know how they made that track. Mm -hmm. So I did my research, I did my homework, and this is what I came up with. You know, I still rock parties, don't get it twisted. Yeah, I still shut them down. But um, making the music is like my main thing now. No doubt. Yeah, as far as the projects and stuff that I'm working on, I released the project with Solid Dane, you know what I mean? Peace to you on that. You know what it is. You know, Fist for the Dollars. Joint is a classic. Absolutely. Got scales coming up, you know what I mean? I heard some joints on that, man. <laughs> like, yo, that joint got me ready to, like, pick up two pens and, like, every notebook and, and, and family dollar, the Dollar Tree be, like, the punchlines, all that. Indeed. You know what I mean? We're going to get into that a little bit later. But um, just definitely check out that cool music. That's yeah. the new brand that's Those rocking around Greenville that Scales. You know what I mean? He basically started his thing off. You know what I mean? His label, his brand. You know what I mean? Cool music. Check that out. Um, so as far as the projects that you you working on, um, what you got in store for like I know it's the, almost the end of 2012. But what you got in store for 2013 and, and basically like what you doing this year? True sure, indeed. Um, 2013 is gonna be a big year because I'm actually releasing my first store bought album, iTunes edition. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You know what I mean? I got my little instrumental album coming out as well. Okay. And then, um, you know, after that, working on these albums, probably another one with you, if possible. Uh, scales, definitely tipping the scales. Tipping the scales. Um, um, I know a lot of cats is, is trying to get into the production game. Um, what what are some of the tools that you use, like when you're making your beats, and what kind of inspiration or what kind of mind frame you get into, like when you you know, doing your beats? Researching people that was ahead of me. First okay. and foremost, you know, and that, and keeping God first. Indeed. You know what I mean? Find out what they did and just pretty much formulate to, you know, your, your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Do mad research. That's the key to it. Research your sounds from snares to bottom basses, everything. Learn how to tweak your stuff and just go from there. If somebody want to purchase a beat or, or get some studio time, like, what's the number that they could get at you? Because I know a lot of cats is going to be trying to, you know, get some, some dope beats, you know what I mean, doing their music thing. True indeed. Uh, the best way to get in contact with me is through Gmail. Okay. DJGridlock at gmail.com. Okay. Straight like that. No underscores, no nothing. All right, so hit DJGridlock at gmail.com if y'all looking for some music. Serious business inquiries only. 
You know what I mean? Don't call in and asking about no free beat or like what can you do for me and all that. Like basically we're in a day and age where like if you're looking for some music and somebody's going to give you an affordable price, try to save up your little crumbs or your little bread and holler at this man. You know, I'm pretty sure he's going to work with you and give Absolutely. you a good price. I work with everybody. That's my motto. I work with everybody. Yo, we sitting here on another episode of the Grind Time Show. I'm sitting here with my main man. A very, very talented lyricist, you know what I'm saying? One of the best in Greenville. And yeah, I said it. Uh, my main man, Scales, Cool Music is his brand. And basically, um, he dropped the project last year. But this year, I, I got a feeling like a lot of cats is going to be feeling some type of way because I didn't heard a snippet of the project. <laughs> What's good with you, Scales? What's good, buddy? What's going on? It's good to see you again. Indeed, man. Um, tell me a little bit about what you're doing for uh, 2013 because 2012 is basically almost over. Um, 2012, you got any projects dropping and basically what you're doing for 2013? Uh, yeah, I got um, Scales. You know me as Scales. You know, I got... Um, it's cool music label that's out right now, you know, for the ladies, you know, for the grown men and everything, you know, I keep it a little, little hood too, you know, but, you know, I'm just doing this for everybody, you know, I love music, I love everything about it, I do this for the fun, you know, I just, I enjoy, it's a hobby to me, and I feel like if, if you got it, you got it, so, you know, I just do it. Look, and if you don't, you don't. Yeah, you don't. You, you know, know what I mean? But well, just call me. I'll help you out. <laughs> That's what it is. So with this new project that you're dropping, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to tell too much about it because we got a lot of a lot of biters in the game. What, what What's the concept and what's your mind frame behind making this project? And what's the name of it? Uh, well, it's, it's called my Mixtape, Mixtape Volume 2. I had a Volume 1 out. You know, I did it with Hydro, you know. Um, so on this one, it's more, more me by myself. But you know, I still got some. Um, you know, I got still got some features. I got, you know, Solid Dollar, my my DJ um, Gridlock. Um, I got um, DJ Wrecking Grid. Ball affiliates. You know, um, Shout out to Wrecking Ball. Brand kind. You know, it's it's different people up there. So you know, it's like um, it's a better variety, and I feel like everybody like it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's cool music. How many how many tracks is gonna be on this project? Uh, you know, last time I had 16 on the first. So I'm trying to put 16 again or better. Okay. You know, it's, I'm almost there. You know. Um. Last question, oh, I, I do got a couple more because you're, you're an interesting dude, you know what I mean? I, I ain't, ain't going to take too much of your time. Hey, it's all good. But um, last question is, like, with this project right here, I know most of the cool music is kind of aiming at the, the older crowd that like hip-hop and still got some feel for some of the younger heads. Like, when do you think this project will be dropping? And, and basically, like, what's your motivation behind, like, coming in the studio and making the kind of music that you make? Uh, well, I'm going to try to drop the album, like, it's going to probably be around late Christmas, beginning of the New Year's, you know, might pop off New Year's night, you know, um, and it's just like my concept, it's just like, um, you know, see, I just like making good music, it's just like, you know, like, I, I, I feel like I'm a good freestyler, and it's like, I like to put it to good beats, you know what I'm saying, it's like, and I got my DJ, you know, he, he hooked me up a nice beat, so I, I take an industry beat, and I just, make it mine, you know, and, and, and I just enjoy doing it, you know, and anybody that want to do it with me, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm free for it, uh, I got I, my CDs, I hand them out for free, I, I don't want nothing, I just, I just like to be heard, so, you know, anytime you out there, you see me, you know, let me know, I got your CD, you know. That's so. what it is, yo, check out my main man, Scales, his new brand, Cool Music, if you hear that, there's something that you, your mama, your little sister, your brother, and everybody can listen to. You know what I mean? I, I got a feature on there. My mixtape, mixtape volume one too. Yeah, that joint. I didn't hear that, but they got some classics classic up there. Um, that so make you moan. Yeah, Check that it. joint out. There's a couple of joints up there. Yeah. And yo, stay tuned, man, because this this new joint that he about to drop is severe, yeah. big, severe. I appreciate it. Most love, solid dollar. No doubt. Uh, I like to get shouts out to my DJ Grid. No doubt. Um, you know everybody in the game is doing their thing, man. Wrecking Ball affiliates. Um, you know, man, love the Greenville, man. Everybody do their thing, man. Let's just keep it peace and make some good music. Yo, good I, music. I definitely appreciate the interview, man. Have a good day, man. Good and um, back, welcome back to the grind time. Good day, baby. Back on another episode of the Grind Time Show, sitting here with my main man Range Rap. He gonna let y'all know what's going on for 2012 and 2013.
Stay tuned to the Grind Time Show. All right. Yo, we back on another episode of the Grind Time Show. I'm sitting here with my main man, Range Rap, a.k.a. Inner Self. You know what I mean? This dude right here been putting it down on the graphics, the videographer, you know what I mean? Hairstylist, you know what I'm saying? All of the above, and he do it quite well. What's good with you, Range? Not much. Chilling, man. Chilling, man. Um, what's some of the projects you got coming out for 012, even though I know 012 is about to end in uh, 2013, man? Well, first off, you know, I just finished the mixtape, Fresh in the Self. You know, it's long awaited for, it's done, it's wrapped up. It's got a couple little minor touches and adjustments I got to do to it. Um, but for the most part, that's about it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm grinding, doing this head thing, hard body, step your game up, my styles is retarded. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's pretty much it, man. You know what I mean? Still got the Ace Money, H and Two. You know what I'm saying? Hydro into, you know, collaboration with Ace Money going on. Still got the graphics rocking. Still got the videos popping off. You know what I mean? That's pretty much it, man. So, I mean, like, a lot of dudes in the game, man, that do music, it seemed to be like they only have one hustle. You know what I'm saying? You're a dude that I know, you know what I mean, on the personal tip, got many hustles. Um, As far as the hairstyling and all that, me personally, I think, like, that's a lucrative business to get into. Especially if you're a dude, you know what I'm saying? A lot of ladies like to get their hair done by dude, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like, I've seen a couple of little clips of what you do, you know what I mean? Just let cats know, like, where can they find you at, you know what I'm saying? If they want to get their dreads, you know what I'm saying, their hair twisted up, treatment and all that. Well, uh, first off, as far as the grinding, I got three kids, man, you know what I'm saying? And I got to do what I got to do to survive and feed my three kids. The whole hair thing, man, my music led me to doing hair. Cause I moved to Charlotte with my One Life dudes. What's good? Throw your L's up. One Life. I moved to um, Charlotte and um, my dudes in Charlotte was like, yo, Range, what's good? Come out here. You know, we got a lot of good things going on. So I'm like, all right, that's what's up. When I got out there, it was hard for me. You know what I'm saying? So I was looking for work. And this one chick I ran into in the mall, she was like, yo, who did your head? I was like, me. She was like, word? I was like, yeah. She was like, you need to come work for me. I really wasn't trying to hear what she was saying. I was just trying to holler at her, you know what I'm saying? And um, I got cool with her, still couldn't find work. So one day I was like, yo, let me see what's up with that. And I went in there, one thing led to another. I was making like 250 a day. That was drug money, you know what I'm saying, at that time. So I was like, all right, well, let me try a little, you know, go a little harder. It took a minute before I did a dude's hair. I ain't even going to stunt. But now it's like, yo, money is money, green is green. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in tune with my sexuality. I ain't got to worry about none of that. You know what I mean? So, that's um how the hair thing came about. As far as where I be at, Tranquility Salon, 3192 East 10th Street. Man, holla at me. I'm right by River Bluff, holla at me. I got the cheapest deals in Greenville. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm nice. You know what I mean? I don't just do dreads. I do doobie raps. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So ends, 27 pieces. Like, if you do is a mess, come get blessed. You know indeed, what I'm saying? indeed. That's pretty much it. So what's the number that they can hit you up, like, if they trying to find, like, either business on the, on the tip of graphics, video, or either here, dude, can they just contact one number, or is it two separate numbers that... Well, I mean, they... you can hit me up on um, 702, well, 252-702-8917, you know what I mean? Or you can hit me up on Facebook. My screen name is Range Inner Self. And that's Inner Self, E-N-A-S-E-L-F. You know what I mean? Um, that's pretty much it. You can Google me. Google Inner Self. Everything pops up. My information from the um, from the salon, from the videos, to the graphics, to Facebook. We um, about to start trying to do this internet radio thing, too. But all that information pops up, man. All right. And um, is there any, any advice that you can give to, like, some of the up-and-coming dudes as far as on the hustle tip or just music wise you know what i'm saying so that they can better their situation you know what i'm saying and don't have to be out here in the streets like thinking that's the only way to get money don't let nobody discourage you man you know what i'm saying if you're doing something like as far as when i was doing hair like all my dudes you know they had their little jokes and all that and then um i seen little youtube clippings you know i ain't gonna say no names but i seen little youtube clippings talking about yo don't one of y'all do hair whatever whatever same broke dudes probably still doing the same broke things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do what I do, and I don't let nobody discourage me, man. If I think it, then I think God blessed me with the thought to think I can do it. So if I think it, I can do it. 
You know what I'm saying? If you keep that in mind, you know, won't nothing hold you back, man. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure, like, whatever you do, don't let nobody hold you back, discourage you, or try to judge you, because only you and God know what it really is. You know what I'm saying? So, but my advice to anybody on the come up is just go ahead and just do your thing, man. Like Nike, just do it. Yo, I definitely appreciate this interview on the Grind Time, man. It's always a pleasure, you know what I'm saying, to get you on the Grind Time show. Yo, man, and much success to you and and your family and all your business endeavors, dog. You too, Sala, and I appreciate the love, man. Every time my people turn to 23, man, they see the face, they see your face, see people that I know, man. You do big things for Greenville, man. They need to give you your props, man. I definitely appreciate it, dog. No doubt, all day. Green trap. Now tell me how you living with that You gotta follow with the facts And I suggest you relax Fall back Cause I ain't going nowhere Fall back Cause I ain't going nowhere I'm range rap Now tell me how you living with that You gotta follow with the facts And I suggest you relax Fall back Cause I ain't going nowhere on another episode of the Grind Time Show, we're about to go to the Mint Studios. My man Matt Money, the engineer. Mint Studios 210. So Matt, basically, um, I just want to congratulate you and, and Mo with the studio, to, you know what I'm saying, the Mint. Um, I know like a lot of cats that, that's trying to start their mixtapes and, you know, a lot of cats in the hood that might not have a whole lot of money for studio time. $25 an hour is a good price. Um, you definitely got a dope beat maker here. Um, you doing the engineering. Yeah. So basically, like, if a cat want to come to y'all, what, what's your studio hours? And, you know what I mean, like, what, what kind of arrangement they got to set up to get in the studio? Well, there's a few guys they can get up with, you know. Cause like, like, the Mint is a part of an umbrella of a few things, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got Optimus Beats, which is part of the Mint. Then you got Set One, you know, that's that's like, they do a lot of the promotion. You got Stunner Game over here, they do a lot of the duplication and stuff like that. So, you know, the Mint is like a one-stop shop, really. You know, um, as far as trying to get in the studio, you know, first person you want to probably get, get with is the, one of the producers, which is Mo, or you want to get, it, get with, uh, Dirty Nichols, which is, you know, one of the promoters, you know, or Hot Boy Stunner, or Solid Dollar, you know. Well, that, you I'll let me, I, I'll get y'all in contact with one of these brothers, like, ASAP. You know, that's how that go. You know, you know, you know ain't no sitting in front. We're split of sales, you know, from Hydro. And this will be 100, all of us, pretty much, you know. No I'm doubt. that out there, so, you know. So, how long y'all guys had this, this location, um, in this area and exactly like where can they locate y'all because you know a lot of times like when people see the show they just see like the inside and they don't you know actually know the address i'm gonna flash the address but i mean it's, it's good for y'all to let the people know exactly well, where it's at i mean we're on the corner of evans and what's that house street so it ain't you know we ain't hard to find right here in the hood you know what i mean that, uh, hopkins hopkins, hopkins. Up upstairs, next right to the carolina barbie trailer you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying or whatever um, also, as an engineer, um, what kind of equipment y'all guys are working with? I, I know Mo, you know, I mean, we're going to get to him in, in a little bit because Mo, Mo work with a lot of different things. So, I, I mean, I'm going to just keep this focus on the engineering aspect well, of the game. The engineering aspect, we're running, you know, the VS 2480, straight digital recording, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of albums been made on it. I mean, even down the Lauryn Hill albums been made on it. So it's it's industry standard. It's, you know, you can get your wave files sent. You want session files? We do everything that you need done as far as the, the digital world. And we also work with Pro Tools, which you know everything we do in here is compatible with Pro Tools. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean. All right, so so I just want to throw a little something out there for the people who may not know who Matt Money actually is. Uh, young Flames, the young dude that's been tearing it up on, on, on a, the industry circuit, you know what I mean, the underground circuit, this is his pops, you know what I mean, um, this is the dude that made Young Flames, that, that lit the match to make the flame, you know what I mean, and um, you know, so if you, you see my main man and, and he look like somebody you know that, that's rocking the scene, that's, that's, the, that's the thing that made Young Flames right there, you know what I mean, um, Big shout to Young Flames. Um, doing his thing still. 
Uh, also, before we wrap this interview up, um, is there any words of encouragement or anything that you could tell the new artists or new engineers or new producers that's coming up in the game that, that might help them as a, a bit of advice to get to, like, the place we are at right now? Well, I mean, my thing is, you know, take away, take all the negative energy that an average person got and put it in towards your music. I mean, in some of our cases, this is all we got, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's too much BS going around because I run into a lot of cats that rap and they they good rappers, but you know at the same time they get in trouble or whatever, whatever. And if they would take the energy that they take, put it into the negative, then you know put it into the music. You know, they, they, you know, just your music got to be everything, man. I mean, stay focused. Stay man. focused. On that, that dedication and that focusness will definitely help help a brother out in a lot of areas, man. Um, is there any final words or thoughts that you want to tell to the people before we wrap this interview up? I mean, I'm saying, yo, we here. You know, whatever you need, we can do it from, you know, start to finish to duplication. You know, um, you know just holler at us. And is it a telephone number or email address that you want people to holler at or, or get at y'all on? Well, you can, um, you can reach us at 252-864-1314. That's to get into the production line or whatever, but I mean, we call that number, we can patch you in to well, promotion, duplication right. line, you know, it's all linked together. And also the uh, email is the Mint Studios, that's T-H-E-M-I-N-T-S-T-U-D-I-O-S-252 at gmail.com. Yo, hit these fellas up if you're looking for a good quality sound, some some dudes that's definitely going to give you, you know what I mean, a feeling of, of, of positivity while you're recording a good recording environment. Men's Studios, my man Matt Money and Optimus B. Check them out, y'all. Yo, we back on another episode of the Grind Time Show. Sitting here with my main man, Dun Deal. Y'all already know what it is. He representing Farmville, Goldsboro, Greenville, and every other place, you know what I'm saying, that got hot music. What it is, Dun? good with you bro same old thing man um the reason why i have to have you on this show right here because you know what i'm saying like all of the major artists that's in the areas on this joint wouldn't be right unless i got you up here you know what i mean so i just want to go ahead and, and talk a little bit about what you're doing this year let the people know um since the last time that we interviewed you a little update on your career you know what i'm saying a little update on what's the haps with done deal basically man you know i stay working I just dropped the um, Deborah Independence July, July 4th. If you ain't got that, go get that. It's a little old now. They got old five down low, so I can make a little bit of noise with it. Go check it out on that pill. Um, next up is um, dropping the um, SoundClick EP Volume 2. Um, volume 1 came out. I think I introduced that on the Grind Sign Show, too. No doubt. But um, Volume 2 dropping. Volume 1 came out, I think, 2010. If you ain't heard that, go check that out at um, dundeal.bandcamp.com. That's D-U-N-D-E-A-L dot B-A-N-D-C-A-M-P dot com. Go check that out. That's the SoundClick EP Volume 1. But volume 2 should be dropping like late December, I say, before the year. We're we'll going to try to, you know, rock that out for the last quarter. Also, you know, thinking about shooting another video. Me and my cousin E. Smith got this banger out called Woke 2012. So I think we about to shoot the video for that. No oh, doubt. I heard that joint. That joint is fire. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. But, um, yeah, I've been working with him. He got a lot of things going on also, so we about to go in. So 2013, some rap. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all know who I rock with. You know, shout out to everybody. 111 Sound Lab, Hydro. Um, shoot, shout out to everybody on their grind, you know what I'm saying? And everybody that's in my corner. Like I said, I only can salute who in my corner. You know what I mean? I respect everybody crying. Everybody got to do what they got to do. But at the end of the day, charity starts at home. You feel me? So Indeed. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking care of home. So um, before we wrap this joint up, man, um, let's talk a little bit about, you know what I mean, some some information that some of the artists, like, you know what I mean, that's, that's trying to get where you at right now. Do you got any advice for, for any of the artists that's up and coming, you know what I mean, that might want to make some leeway into the, the underground circuit? And you know, possibly position themselves like for industry. You know what I'm saying? Settings. Man, at the end of the day, like if you notice everybody to get in the industry, they different. You know what I'm 
know what I'm saying? A lot of people is different. You hear some of the same type of music, but at the same time, everybody got their own little style. I mean, as far as, I always felt like as far as being noticed, you got to stand out. So I try my best to stand out, stay original. You know what I'm saying? Stay passionate. If you ain't passionate about it, it ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? I do this regardless. I can be broke. Two dollars. I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Because I love to do it. Um, and just stay true to yourself. Don't be out here faking. Please don't be out here faking. You know, if you got responsibilities and you might got to work, you might got to work, you might got to go to the studio, you might got to go to school, you might got to do what you got to do. But if you love music, keep doing what you're doing. It's going to pay off in the end. I mean, really, I feel like I ain't where I want to be yet, but at the same time, I'm going to keep doing it. Love no you know doubt. Saying? And, and, and just, just to let cats know, like, right, right now, we out here in the rain, man. Like, this is dedication. Like, some cats talk about they dedicated, but, like, yo, we shooting this interview. It, it, it's, like, raining. You know what I mean? They said it was going to be a hurricane coming today, but we out here taking the time to go ahead and do what we got to do. So that, that shows, like, that's real dedication right there for a cat to do that. You know what I mean? Um, also, a quick fast to get, you give any links, you know what I'm saying, or any numbers that cats might, you know, be able to get up with. Um, uh, uh, you can go to dundeal.bandcamp.com. Um, I said that earlier. Um, Reverb Nation backslash Dundeal. Um, that Piff, I'm on that Piff. Um, you can check out um, for that Piff John, uh, Declaration of Independence. Go check out my dude DJ Beesky. It's on his um that Piff page. You check him out. Um, it's pretty much it as far as my as far as you find my music. You know what I'm saying? You can always find me on Facebook. Um, the fan page on Facebook is just done deal. It's D U N D A L. I'm right up there. Got about. I need some more likes. I'm pleased. I need my likes up. You know what I mean? I'm trying to crack a G. I got like 970. I'm trying to crack a G. Somebody help me crack a G. You know what I mean? Um, it's pretty much it. I mean, check us out, man. Shout out, like I said, shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? On my grind, solid dollar, range rap, gridlock, you know what I'm saying? Skills, everybody that I rock with, you know what I'm saying? It's been knowing me since I was a little dude. You know what I mean? I rocks with y'all for real. You know what I'm saying? Holla at me. Salute to everybody on the grind. Everybody. Yo, Yo salute to you, Dundell. Appreciate it, bro. Peace. Yo, so we sitting back here. You know, you don't really, really get me in front of the camera, but you know what I mean? Like, I got to tell you about this new project me and Optimus is doing. Um, Basically, it's going to be some futuristic type trap stuff mixed, you know what I mean, with a lot of different flows. Optimus is doing all the production, something that we've been waiting to do for a while. So I'm going to just let him tell you a little bit of the project. And what it consists of, and he gonna wrap it up, give you some information for you young up and coming artists, and we gonna be out on the grind time show. Basically, man, like like Solid said, you know, this project is gonna be a little bit ahead of its time. That's why it's taking, you know, we taking so much time putting it together because a lot of artists don't understand. You know, you might make a song today, but. That don't mean that next week or tomorrow or as soon as you leave that it's time to let the world hear that song. It's all about timing. And you know what I'm saying? This project, I feel like 2013 is like the perfect timing because, you know, a lot of things finna change in this world. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's musically, however you look at the world, you know what I'm saying? But all I can speak for right now at this moment is from a music standpoint, we finna change the game with this futuristic futuristic trapping um, and okay oh, i just want to add one thing like what he's basically saying like i made the track like he gave me the track the track is done we, we working on tracks right now but we decided not to release it because the project is kind of special you know what i'm saying so of course and, and, and me being a veteran in the game and him being a producer i let the producer lead way it's not about ego like yo we talk about it you know what i mean i recorded the track and when he feel is right and when i feel is right that's when we drop it. That's basically saying, like, play your position. Like, I rapped on the track, but this is basically his production. And we both got to be on the same accord before it's time for the project to release. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could have right. dropped it the same day that we did it, but it, right. it wasn't right. Right. So I'm, I'm going to just, you know what I mean, let Mo do what he do. Um, and yeah, like I said, man, that's, that project going to be real special, man. That's going to top, that's going to start, you know, the first quarter off like it should be. We're going to set the tone. For everybody else out there, you know, once we drop that, that's letting y'all know, like, this is what y'all got to, you know what I'm saying, step up to. You know, it's going to be haters. It's going to be people who proud of us. We take all types of criticism, man, because it don't do nothing but make us go harder. As you can see, we still right here together, still working. You know, it's been, what, About three, four years strong yeah, now? Yeah, no doubt. 
So it ain't nothing gonna stop. Like this NC thing is too strong to like like let anybody get in the way of what we trying to do. We, like we got talented producers, we got talented engineers, you got talented cameramen, videographers in, in North Carolina. So you know what? As much hate as it is, or as much tension as it is, is more positivity. And if you look at it like a positive, if you on your battery cable, it's a plus. You know what I mean? And, and a negative is a minus. So a plus is always gonna weigh more than a negative. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't, I don't know what they thought, but I'm telling you, like, North Carolina is definitely about to be on the map, man. Please believe it, man. Like I said, man, um, be on the lookout for the end game. End game. It drops December 21st, 2012. First single already been out there. It's still out there. All you got to do is YouTube it, Google it. It's titled Kind of Crazy by Tef Kaluminati, Dirty Nickels, and Tommy Guns. Second single is going to drop the 21st of this month by Lex Leosis. You can also Google her. She's fire, man, I'm telling you. And um, also, OBMG got something special coming out, 2013, man. First two artists, Young Sage and Young Loco, you know what I'm saying? They local artists from right here in North Carolina. I've been working with them for a couple of months. And they definitely going to be a problem, man, I'm telling you. Just be on the lookout. Just a side note, anything that my man Optimus doing, man, the beats is fire, man. I haven't heard, like, no joints that sound like something I wouldn't want to rap on or something I, I thought was lame. You know what I mean? This dude put a lot of energy and time into his craft. Please, if you're going to come at him, come at him with some serious business. Like, if we, we passed the, the day and age oh, yeah. where, like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, can you look out? Can you, like, <laughs> hey, like, no, but, like, man, this man is a businessman. You know what I mean? I'm a businessman, so... If you're an artist and you're trying to come at somebody, you got to come at them on a business level, man. Like, people got families. Like, you know what I mean? We got we to gotta break bread, man. We got They got to eat. Kids got to eat, man. So if you come at us, we ain't going to ask you for a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? But just try yeah. to come with some trying, kind of contribution, you know what I'm saying? But on that note, Optimus, is there anything that you want to tell the, the up-and-coming producers um, as far as that's in a local area or national that, that might be a bit of advice for, you know what I'm saying, them to come up in the game? I mean, basically, man, the advice that I got for you is the same advice that got passed down to me. Never stop what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do nothing. Like, that's, that's, that's not an option, you know what I'm saying? Stay shopping for sounds. That's the main thing. That's what separates a beat maker from a producer. If you keep evolving your sounds, keep shopping for the latest sounds, trying to make your own sounds, you can't lose. You cannot lose. Be yourself. Don't try to be the next Lex Luger or, you know, 808 Mafia. You know, shout out to them, you know what I'm saying, because some, I have learned some things from them, you know what I'm saying, but outside of that, I'm still Optimus Beats at, at the end of the day. Like, you would, you can tell my production outside of anybody else out there. It's futuristic. And I guarantee you that. So, guarantee yo, you that. definitely check out Mint Studios, definitely uh, appreciate everybody for watching the Grind Time Show. Big shout out to Matt Money, big shout out to Optimus Beats, and yo, keep continuing to watch the Grind Time Show. Peace. Right, gang, gang. Yo, I'm sitting here, another episode on the Grind Time Show. I'm sitting here with the infamous Rello. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all know him from Facebook, a lot of y'all know him from the streets, putting in good quality music. You know what I'm saying? Something that everybody could appreciate. Down here right now in the studio. Um, Rello, give us the name of the studio, man, and um, basically what you're doing this year. Well, shit, man, we um, we at NFL Studios, man. Um, it's a lot of commotion going on in the background. Don't don't mind that. We at the studio, um, MFL, down here at the Lee Building, right off right off of Third Street, um, Room Twelve. You can catch us um any time of the day, man. We here um any time you need us to be here, we be here. We're open 24 hours, pretty much 20 24 7, 365. That's what's up. Um, I've been hearing a lot about this new project that you got going on. Um, could you kind of like give the people the name of the project and let them know like what, what's the feel behind the project or basically like what's the message behind the project that you're promoting? Oh uh, yeah, the album is Contemplation, man. Um, it's basically a clutter of all my thoughts put together on this one on this one um album. Um, it, it consists of about six, fifteen tracks, uh, intro and outro, which makes seventeen. Um. From the beginning to the end, I mean, I'm pretty much, you, you'll feel it from, from your heart and your soul. Um, it's some party music up there, but it's, it's conscientious, conscientious music too as well um, that'll really make you think and, and dig deep. Um, one song in particular, um, 
which um, my big homie here lo loves the most is um, Our Souls, mm -hmm. which I'm pretty much um, would take you to church. Okay. And um, basically, man, um, the feel for the album, it just, it just came to me, man. Um, spent a lot of time, hard work, you know, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours in the studio, staying in the studio, sleeping on the couch, which it ain't in here no more. Mm -hmm. So you know I can't sleep in this mud no more. So um, it's just a lot of hard work, you know what I'm saying, dedication went into it, a lot of effort went behind it. Um, basically, man, um, I know your man right here, um, I seen him when I came in the studio, I just want to introduce him to the people, oh, yeah. and, um, basically let him, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, the hours of, of studio production, or, or the times that you guys actually, you know, operate, so, um, that's good, that's good. what's going on, brother? Hey, what's up, man, it's Fat Water Rapper here, Cream Beer Finest, you know what I'm saying, posted up at MFL Studio. All right, we here 24 hours a day. If you need a track at 3 o'clock in the morning, call me. I'll get somebody in here and we can get it done. Um, we're just basically trying to get Greenville, North Carolina, uh, a place on the map. You got New York, you got Miami, you got Houston, you got Cali. You know what I'm saying? But what about in between New York and Miami? Mm -hmm. And we're just trying to... You know what I'm saying? Give this city a voice. All right, so what's the number um, that they can contact y'all at, you know what I mean, so basically they can get some studio time? Studio time for, uh, you can call me at 252-347-5832. Mm. And that's that's the number, you, the only number you need. Just right. call that number, and I'll, I'll answer. All right. And uh, what's your name again for the, for the people that don't know? Fat Boy the Rapper. Fat Boy the Rapper, my man Rel Low. Y'all already know him. The contemplation is coming soon. MFL Studios. And we just going to give y'all a little glimpse of like what we're working with. You know what I mean? Let y'all know. Like, you know, there's an official studio going down here. You know what I mean? It's not like a fan in the room and, 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 and a, a one little beat got machine. We got the booth going on. We're going to get a little glimpse of the booth for y'all. And y'all can know it's official. This is what it is, y'all. So if you need to get some work done, Come check out my man Rail Low, Fat Boy the Rapper, MFL Studios. We get it in and we give y'all a good quality price. Yo, we back on another episode of the Grind Time Show. I'm sitting here with a dude that put in mad work on a production tip. Some of y'all know him, some of y'all might not know him, but if you don't know him, get to know him. It's my main man, Tightrope. What it do, Tight? What's up, man? It's Money Group Production, LLC. All right, now, um, I see you in the lab working, man. I want to get a glimpse of this machine that you got in front of you, man. A lot of cats might not know about this thing, but I'm going to get a quick glimpse. That's that 5,000, y'all. You know what I mean? Not too many dudes even know how to work that. But um, tell us a little bit about some of the hardware that you work with and, you know what I mean, basically how long you've been doing the production thing, dog. Well, um, I work off the, well, mainly my soul drones is the Mac. Got one right here. And over there by um, YV, we got another Mac, Mac that's a Mac Pro over there. <coughs> um, work on Fru Fruity Loops, I work on Logic, I work on Pro, Pro Tools, anything dealing with music, I can work off of. You get to me, you say make sounds out of your boy J.O. Bone type role, gonna make sounds off of. No doubt. Um, now, a lot of cats probably know, you know what I mean, back in the days, like me and you used to go at it, you know what I'm saying, on the rap thing. You know, we, we talk about this. People, please don't, like, get involved in the hype because me and this man, like, we really, really twerk together. We work together. If it wasn't for that, like, you know what I'm saying, like, a lot of a lot of other artists wouldn't even have an opportunity to get their shine on. And as bosses, like, you know what I'm saying, we really, really do this thing. So, like, we, we, we let all the small stuff slide, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a businessman. I'm a businessman. We doing business right now. We're gonna to continue to do business. So for anybody that, that thought it was some extra extra involved, it's a whole new year, right. man, and we grinding. You know what I mean? The basic thing was, man, straight entertainment. We here to entertain people, and you know what I'm saying? Like words got exchanged and people got into it. And they took it farther than what it was. And it wasn't no street right. stuff. It was straight music. And anybody try to take it for the music, like, that's yeah, like me leave it there in another lane. I'm all about positive stuff, reaching out to the community, helping little young kids out and get out there and use their talent for something different than other than out here game banging and selling drugs. Yeah, I definitely appreciate that. Now, what we got going on here today in the studio is my man Tight is going to show you exactly, like, what he do and how he do it. I'm going to pick a He let me pick a sample. He gonna chop it up. We gonna show y'all the process of how he do his thing, and we gonna break it down on the show for y'all to let y'all see how it go down. So you know what I mean. This is what it is. 
This is all going to happen in real time today. It ain't like, yo, next week we coming back the same clothes, same machine, same NPC, same sunshine through the window. We're going to show y'all what it is. Check us out on the Grind Time Show. Yo, Tight, what's good with you, man? I see you got some talented brothers around you, man. Um, You know what I mean? Could you just introduce them to the world? Because evidently, like, if they working with you, they must be some fire artists, man. Well, first off, we got my boy YV right here. What's up? Uh, YV, Lace Clips, Fox Game, Crack Society, a lot of stuff around Greenville, man, I do. I make beats, I rap, I produce other artists. And I'm just grinding hard, man, trying to get a deal or something like that, you know? That's what it is. All right, and uh, the next person that you got is my man. What's your name, homie? Oh, my name is Fox Diggs, Fox Game, Lace Clips. Um, I'm a, just a young artist, only 14. I make clothes, and I just put in work for the stuff I need to get done. All right, so um, how long you been doing this? Like a few months, not All that right. long. That's what's up. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that my man Tightrope going to get you right, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. You in good hands, be like all state. So back to this this segment that we was talking about. I got my man tight. He gonna show y'all what he do real quick. Um, I told y'all we was gonna make a beat in real time. Yo, um, the beat is basically like all together, man. Like this dude worked real fast, man. I, I think like in the time we smoked the cigarette, it was it was it was done. So. Tight, tight, yo, I, I see you got a, a real, real street certified producer. I know this dude from way, way back in the days, man. Um, Right now we in the lab. This is the, the father of the sound, man. A lot of times back in the days, you know what I'm saying, like me and this dude used to get it in at my studio, Late Night Tips, when the, when the studio was closed. Please introduce this dude, oh, man. Big homie, you know what I'm saying, father dude. Y'all give it up to my man Bird. What's good, what's good? Riding that wave, Easy Entertainment, Money Grip Productions, Solid Dollar, doing what we do all the time, never stop. Uh, you know, got YV coming out doing his thing, Fox Diggs doing his thing, Tight Rope doing his thing. Yo, I'm sitting here on another episode of the Grind Time Show. I'm sitting here with the infamous Grand Lodge. Um, what's good with you, Grand? Chillin', chillin'. How about yourself? I'm taking it easy. Um. And I call him Grand because, like, yo, this dude, this dude definitely got many, many Grands in his future. You dig? But everybody know him as Large or Grand Large. You know what I mean? Um, I just want to talk about a couple of things real quick. Um, I know you, you was basically known and responsible for putting on all of these shows downtown. Um, Tipsy Teapot put that on the map. Put a lot of artists out there, um, you know, gave them an opportunity to go ahead and perform and, and hone in on their skills. Um, and where, where we at with it right now? Where, where, what's the situation with Grand Lodge and, and, and everything that's moving with the Grand Mafia movement? Well, you know, right now it's still A1 everything, you know, A1 MMG, you know, A1. You call me A1 if you want, you know. But, you know, you hear a lot of people talking about A1 is A1 that. Everybody know A1 right here. A1. I mean, and that's that's all that's that's that's, that's true from the heart. And that's all around. Man, I like to say the globe, because I'm internationally known. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, you know, I, I'm just keeping everything A1, you know? Top notch, top shelf, creme de la creme, you know. You know, uh working, working hard. Nobody see me because I'm working. Nobody see me because I'm working. Projects coming up, they'll come one after another about the flood. Of the flood streets. All right, so basically, Grand Lodge, I just want to know, like, where do you get some of the inspiration behind your creativity and the songs that you make? Also, um, some of the segments that you put out. Like, where where does this stuff come from? Well, you know, that beach scene, it came it came, it came from life. I was at the beach. I got invited down there for for like a a party or whatever. And I mean, end up in a nice spot. I ain't know nobody there, but never in, a, in, a, in a, very, a very good spot, like a beach house and stuff. You know what I mean? I ain't never been in nowhere like that. You know, I'm from Jersey, from the hood. And I've been away there before. You know what I mean? It's a real, 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 real nice spot or whatever. 
and it was just beautiful scenery, you know what I mean? And it went perfect with that song that I had already, so I just put the two together. I mean, everything that I do just comes from life, you know what I mean, from how I'm living, huh? you know what I mean? And I'm living it different every day, you know what I mean? I'm not sticking to the same, I'm not sticking to no script, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm off the cuff with it, you know what I mean? I'm freestyling life, and that's how, that's how I do it, you know Okay. I mean? Um, I, I know you're a busy dude, so I'm, I'm going to try to wrap this up, but I do got a couple more questions. All right, now, with the unity and, and the Greenville hip-hop scene, like, what are you? What are some of your thoughts on, on the unity and the, and the Greenville hip-hop scene? I just want us to come together, man. It's like this, you know what I mean? Each one of these, the rappers, groups, whatever, you know what I mean? We're stronger like this. You know what I mean? That's all to it, you know what I mean? Like, like, like separated we like this. Together we like this. That's all to it. There's nothing else to it. I mean, we just need to come together and get get it going. I mean, all face one direction is scream. The only way they're going to hear us. They're going to hear us with one person screaming that way, one person screaming that way, one person screaming that way. We all got to face the same way and just holler. Okay. That's when we start making some noise. Until then, we ain't making no noise. Everybody think they're making noise by themselves, but nobody's making no real noise. Everybody got to point the same way and holler to the okay. top of their lungs. You know what I mean? Okay, now another question. Um... The Moon Man and the project that you're coming out with, could you just give us a little bit of insight on how you came up with the Moon Man, which I think is like super duper crazy, and the project, when it's dropping, how many tracks is going to be on that project, and, and, and just a little tidbit. And you, you ain't got to go, like, I know, I know you, you probably got a lot of tricks up your sleeve as far as when this project and how you're going to do it, but... If you could just give us a little bit of insight on, on what this project is going to be about. As of right now, the, the Project AM is dropping 10, 20, 2012. You know, uh, the Moon Man should be dropping with it. You know, it's going to be like something like the Michael Jackson type thing. You know what I mean? Michael Jackson came up with a, with a new album. He came out with like a, a short film, music video type thing. You know what I mean, as far as where the Moon Man came from, it came from dreams. You know what I mean? So it came from the cosmos. You know what I mean? So. Um, I don't want to tell nobody too much about it, you know what I mean? I give y'all little bits and skits where he showed that, I, that the what if we make it in the middle of the Ground Town show, some more be added to it. Okay. So it'll be piecing it together. Y'all just got to follow along and watch the story unfold. Okay. And the whole story will come together December 20th. Okay, so December 20th, that's when that joint is dropping. Is, is yeah. that, what's the name of the, the project? AM. AM. Yeah, time to wake up. Okay. Um, and before I let you go, Doug, um, what, is, what is some advice that you, you might want to give to somebody that, that might be trying to do what you're doing? Um, you know what I mean? Um, I know we, we all kind of like underground, but yet it's some artists that's actually like stand out a little more than others. and some act, artists that actually put out and, and contribute more than others, what would you say to an artist that might want to be like a Grand Lodge? Not exactly like you, but want to be a Grand Lodge or on that same caliber? Don't give up. Stay steady. Don't nobody shake you. I mean, hold your ground. Don't fold. Don't bend over. Do what comes to your head. And screw everything else. You know? Find a way to take care of yourself while doing your artwork. Don't take no handouts. Don't give no handouts. I definitely appreciate that, man. And um, once again, it's your main man. I got one more thing to say. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. This is my sponsor right here, Super A. My sponsor. Doing the show right here where we at right now, November 10th. Come check me out. November 10th. November 10th. Grand Lodge, Super A. Clothing Super a, brand. My sponsor. All right. You know what I mean? That's what it is. We got sponsors and all that, dog. You know what I mean? So... Yo, check my man Grand Lodge. He got the new project dropping AM. You know what I mean? He got a show coming up soon. Check the moon, man. Also, he got a new segment on the Grind Time show called What If. We and made it. We made it. What if we made it? You dig? <laughs> Grand Lodge. Peace. All right, we're here with the man, Salad Dollar. This is What If. What if we made it? Uh, I just want to touch bases with Solid Dollar. What up, Lodge? Let y'all know what, uh, what he about. I think a lot of y'all know already, you know what I mean? They should. Just the man behind the movement, you know? Don't nothing move unless he say so, whether y'all 
like to agree with it or not, you know it's true. So uh, let's find out about the man. Salah, tell the world something. Well, basically, I'm Salah Dollar. Um, I made a lot of different trends and, and, and different activities and movements in, in this North Carolina, specifically Greenville. Um, I'm such a humble person, man. Like, I really don't like to, like, attribute things personally directly to me because my spirituality, I got to pay reverence to, like, what makes me or, or gives me the inspiration behind the ideas that I have. And, and honestly, I'm going to say first and foremost, it comes from God. So if you have no connection with God, then basically you're nothing. I, I kind of consider myself as being like a vessel or, or, or a tool for God. So when I come up with ideas, I don't say, well, you know what, Sal, I made this up. You know what I mean? I say, well, you know what, God gave me this idea. I want to try to implement it. I want to see if it works. And when it do happen to work, I also notice, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people follow it. I don't mind these people following these ideas because if God gave me the inspiration to come up with an idea, then I feel like, okay, it's, it's cool for you to use it. You know what I mean? Use the idea, do it to the best of your ability, and if it works for you, then it works for you. Um, for those who don't know me, I started a, a, a studio downtown um, a couple years back, maybe seven, eight years back um, off of Fifth Street, um, Hydro Studios. It was in a, in a store that I had. Um, I was like one of the first dudes that had like CDs, you know, them, them CDs that you can get for $5 um, before the flea markets, before all of that. Um, I was one of the first dudes that allowed um, artists that was in the hood, you know what I mean, to come in and get affordable studio prices and come and record their first mixtape. A lot of these artists around here I've actually um, recorded their first mixtape, you know what I mean? Before like, you know, cats was even thinking about mixtapes, they was coming to me and saying, well, you know what? I got an idea, and my idea was, you know what, let's let's try to go ahead and create a mixtape. Originally from New York, moved to North Carolina, came down here to help my moms out with her, her store. Um, she let me manage it, and then I created the studio in the back, and, and, and that's how I kind of solidified myself with the town, by being able to touch bases with the average dude that was trying to make his, his ideas come to life and be able to put it on wax for him, you know what I mean? So, you know, that, that's me, man, solid dog. All right, Salah, I got a question for you. We're going to play a little game, right? Okay. First word to come to, first word to come to your mind when I say something, right? All right. Sucker MCs. A lot of them. <laughs> Too many of them? Too many of them. <laughs> all right, all right, the future. Me. All right, the past. Hmm, history. All right. All right, uh, we're doing the top of the, off top of the head now. Um... A car. Lambo. Just to let you know, man, um, the dude that's behind the camera, Grand Lodge, he got a segment called What If. Um, I'm really big into um, paying homage to, to, the, to the people that's actually doing something, for the people that show me love, for the people that um, actually give me a, a kindred spirit. Now, when I say kindred spirit, there's a lot of people that you're going to meet in life that you don't totally feel in line with. Like, you might feel like, okay, well, me and this guy can do a show together. Me and this guy can go, you know, check out some, some clothes together, go to the mall together, go cop sneakers together. But when you find a person that, that you can actually share so many similarities with, it almost makes you feel like it's a brother from another mother. And, and I want to say, like, regardless of what people think about me, I think Grand Lodge is, like, one of the, the, the most inspiring people that, that's in this community besides myself. You know what I mean? Like... His ideas are, are, are futuristic. He's a very humble brother, not not somebody to play with. You know what I mean? Like, don't get it twisted, because I'm, I'm the same way too. A lot of people think like, you know, because you humble, because you meek, don't mean you weak. You know what I mean? But a lot of times, like, you gotta cross that threshold to find out that a person is not weak. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I just want to give a shout out to Grand Lodge because. A lot of times what I do is I go ahead and do the grind time show and that's for the people in the community and I, I very seldom get in front of the camera. So I just want to say like, yo, I definitely appreciate like you put me on this segment. You know what I mean? When he called me up and told me about it, you know, I kind of got excited. You know what I mean? Put on my little sweater. <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. So big shout out to Grand Lodge, man. Salute right back Lodge, to you, yeah, brother. Man. You already know what it is, man.
Yeah, what do you think about the moon, man? What do you think about December 21st? December, December 20th, 2012. What do you think? December what do you think about that? The last day on Earth. What do you think about I, I that? I think the moon, man, is, is, is so iconic. I think the moon, man, is is something that, like, corporate America stick to a brand. Like, I think Grand Lodge came up with something that's so ingenious because usually when you think about uh, a product like Coca-Cola or Pepsi, or something they assemble like a wave or seven up got the dot um the moon man is symbolic to this project that's about to drop i heard a couple of cuts off the joint yo i, I think it was so ingenious for for him to come up with a symbol that you can associate to a project that's about to drop it was so ingenious that i ain't even think of it <laughs> like so that's what i think i think the moon man is something serious dog like it's something very 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 serious be, be on the lookout for that project, December 20th, 2012. I'm gonna have my popcorn. <laughs> Hopefully by then I'll be blazing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna check out the project. So yeah. check it out, December 20th, 2012. If you ain't on the moon, man, joint, then you on another planet. Um, I appreciate everything you do for us, man. Not just it, me, man. for us, man. Um, I just wanna say one thing, man. Um. I appreciate the people that, that actually take time to appreciate what I try to do for the community. I don't know if it is totally um, effective, you know what I mean? But when I have certain people that come to me and say they appreciate what I do, it, it makes me feel appreciated and it makes me know, like, you know, at least somebody is paying attention to the fact that I'm not doing it for the fame. Um, I'm not doing it for the wealth. I'm doing it to, to like, wake up people's mentals I'm doing it to wake up people's spirit. I'm doing it to inspire other people. So like, I had a dude to come to me, and I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. Um, I had a dude to come to me um, last last month, and um, he was saying, like, he called me up, he said, yo, Sala, you know, I, I need to do this, that, and the third, because I think we could be more successful. And I asked him, I said, yo, what is your idea of success? Because to me, I feel like I'm successful already. You know what I mean? I, I, I have a nice home. I drive a nice car, I got nice jewelry, you know what I mean? And, and and those are just like material things as far as what I consider successful is being able to like help other people. And if I can help any, like if I can help one person in the course of my span on being on earth, that's a success. Hear that. So yo, check out the What If joint. One more thing, yes, what's, what's up with the music? Oh man, the music man, I just dropped this joint called Rapper Soft. Cause I feel like a lot of rappers is soft, um, and I got a video coming out. It is I'm, I'm working on that. It's like a mini movie. It's like a mini movie. That's that's all I can tell you. Like it's it's some real real crazy type of dark, but yet it's suspenseful um, video. And I think it's gonna be one of my best videos. Um, I'm doing videos too. So if you want to do a video, holla at me. Um, I'll give you a decent price. I'm not going to quote it on camera because, like, different people got different needs and different budgets. So I try to work with everybody. But, um, yeah, the Rapper Soft joint is coming out. I just dropped the joint called uh, The Fistful of Dollars um, with DJ Gridlock. Um, I got a joint coming out with Optimus Beat, the first of the year, um, Futuristic Trapper. Um, I'm still working, man. I, I, I try to take, like, two or three or four projects at one time because, like, if I don't... I don't put a whole lot of stuff on my plate. I feel like I, I get bored. So, you know what I mean? I, I got that going on. Um, Grand Lodge, he got a joint that he want me to get on. So I'm constantly working. Runny Run, he hit me up. He want me to do the remix for the Bully joint. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, salute to everybody that, that still rock with me, man. You know what I mean? Um, and also, I just want to say this. Please do not be mystified or fooled by age. Age is, uh, is something that the industry tell you because they want to get like little young dudes that they could put a lollipop in their mouth and, and, and tell them like, yo, get that Honda Civic, dog, because that's in your budget. Like most of the real rappers and real moguls don't really start making money until they in their 30s, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 30 plus, but I still like will scrap rap and smack one of these rappers like early. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Grand Mafia, Gridiron, everybody that, that, that rock with me, I salute y'all. You know what I mean? NC, let's keep making this, these moves happen. Yo, if, if you're looking for the industry to do something for you, I don't know what they're going to do for you.
Grind Time Show, Channel 23, G Pat TV, Hydro hosted Rackers. by your boy Solid Dollars. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Grind Time Show. I just want y'all to know this is the Grind Time Show. Businesses, models, artists, and scenes. All you gotta do is turn to Channel 23. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Grind Time Show. I just want y'all to know this is the Grind Time Show.